Hey all you awesomely blossomy people out there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nirupama and I hope you all are doing great. Well, right now I am in Damam, Saudi and the time right now... Okay, the time right now is 12.05 a.m. It's midnight and uh, I think India is going to time pe 2.35 a.m. So India is um, two and a half hours ahead. Yeah, that's that. So right now I'm going to do a change in my comfy clothes because I'm really tired and I'm going to remove all of this from my face because I hate it. I want my skin to breathe. Uh, and in this video I'll be telling you things which you need to keep in mind when you're traveling to Saudi, the mom. Hi guys, good morning. I think it's uh, 11 in the morning. So um, actually breakfast to abhi nahi sakta because uh, we asked last night at the reception and the guy told us that uh, it will be till 10 30 in the morning so ab to hume kuch nahi milega but let's see we might we might go out so this is the view from my hotel room so this is how it looks they are very here in Saudi. The people are very particular about the driving rules. Like locals, I don't know, kitna hat tak wo follow karte hai. But expats, uh, you should whenever you come to this place, make sure you follow all the traffic rules. Like wear a seatbelt and uh, do not talk to the driver. That is also one thing which I got to know yesterday. Then do not because when you talk to the driver, so then he'll get engaged in the conversation and you know accident was like that so that is there so that you need to keep in mind and also one amazing fact about this place is um earlier like for decades the women were not allowed to drive now it's not like it's not like it's illegal like it wasn't on papers that you know they are not allowed to do so but then because of the society and the religious pressure people were they were not allowed to drive but recently the new prince has come up with this rule that they can drive which is really nice which is revolutionary because it's a big thing for us in india or other countries you know it must be a very it's a regular thing it's a it must be a regular practice but here it is a big deal so which is nice so with the time everything is changing so yeah that is one amazing fact about this place okay, so finally we are going out to a mall to buy something because as we did not have the breakfast so we are very hungry we are very hungry we are very hungry hungry we are very hungry so yes so that's why we are going out and we see that you know if there's anything to buy so we can do some shopping and yeah and as you can see that I'm wearing a baya Yes, so that's one thing which you have to follow for all the women. When you are in Saudi, make sure you wear a baya. The moment you step out of your room, like the hotel room as well, so you should be in a baya. So that's one thing. It's not necessary, it's not compulsory to cover their face, but make sure you cover your head. So that is one thing which you need to keep in mind when you're traveling to Saudi. And yeah, and that's my whole look. Make sure in the comment section below how do I look. Okay, Patika, you're looking so pretty. Tell me, how do you feel? I'm feeling great, you know. We are in Saudi and it's too hot outside. So it's okay, we got a shelter over here. Shelter over here. We have a bed and we have a bed and we have a bed. So we are going to eat food. So guys, now we are outside and it's extremely hot. That's the weather we find in Abu Dhabi. In Saudi, the mom, and it's really very hot. Like uh, my eyes are burning, I feel like my lashes will burn and fall off but then that's how it is and uh, we're just trying to get a taxi so that we can go to the mall and eat something as we are starving. So yeah, that's a update for now. Oh guys, oh, oh guys, so guys the plan has changed. We are just going to a food joint. Uh, it's an Indian restaurant, that's what yeah. they're saying. Because it's extremely hot and we are not able to find a taxi, uh, taxi. so yeah. This is the place where we are going to have our lunch.
Hey guys, so I'm finally back to Delhi. I couldn't film much because the battery died and I forgot to carry the charger. Also, we didn't go out. We were planning to but it was very hot outside. So we decided not to go anywhere and to stay in the hotel. So so that's why I didn't film but there are some points which I would like to share with you guys which you need to keep in mind when you're traveling to Bali alcohol a big no so make sure whenever you're entering Saudi like any kind any place in Saudi Jada, Riyadh, Dhamam make sure you don't carry any alcohol because duty free way you find it very cheap so in San Sosta Chalo Tiki do bottle kind of letter and kya fark but uh, not in not when you're traveling to Saudi make sure you don't carry alcohol into that country also when you're traveling there are many airlines which serve alcohol on board so I would suggest just avoid when you are traveling to Saudi because they are very particular about these things don't think that you know you have to give a little bit of a fine and you will give it to you it's not like that they are very very particular about it like you can't even imagine so the next point is <clears throat> you can't access the adult side so don't even try that because it won't work for the whatsapp it does work but then you can't make calls like the video call or voice call uh, that won't work so what you can do you can download the app google duo so that's what i've done i have both the apps so i was trying to call my parents but then as i said the whatsapp calling was not working but then the duo one it does work so make sure you have that in your phone another very important point food like you all know that i am a hardcore vegetarian so sometimes it is difficult for me to find food uh, in a different country i always do one thing that i carry my food along with me like when i'm going on a one day layover but in pa in the mom you will find a lot of pakistani restaurant that's what we did we had the lunch in a pakistani restaurant so it was it was good it was nice and the taste was almost the same because the pakistani cuisine and indian cuisine is almost the same so masale hum use karte hain jo preparation method hum use karte hain so it's almost the same so yeah if you look out for it you will find some good pakistani restaurant mom is also the best place to shop especially in Ramzan you'll get super amazing offers super amazing sales will be going on so yeah make sure that if you are at that time of the year you go and shop and otherwise also because everything is so cheap like uh, the perfumes dates dry fruits the quality is very good and uh, the gold the gold you if you are traveling like as a passenger like we are not allowed to get anything but then as a passenger when you are traveling make sure that you buy gold from there because you'll get really good quality and it will be very cheap so yeah that is there apart from that all the other stuff and also when you're there at the time of ramzan may just be very careful about the timings but as we know that in islam they pray five times in a day jabhi bhi prayer hoti hai everything shuts so jabhi they pray you will get to know so ab jahan par bhi hai aapko you have to stay there like uh, jitni bhi shops hongi jitne bhi showrooms honge unke shutter down ho jayenge agar aap restaurant mein hai they close the curtains they... so that is what one thing so like if you are on a one day stay like like us so if you are there just for a day so make sure you take care about all these things because you know what you have a flight back and then you have to be back on time and you'll get stuck so make sure you take care of that so also Jumma, which is Friday so the same thing happens so make sure you take care of that apart from that don't miss the shopping so especially for women when they are traveling with the main it has to be their father brother son husband but when we are there on a layover, we go out with our male cabin crew as well. Because uh, sometimes what happens is just like two girls and three guys or one girl. It happens to me. It happened to me once that I was the only girl and there were other four guys. So you can't sit at home and if you just think if you want to go out and eat something. So you have to step out of your room. So you just can't go alone, right? So we get a GD, a group declaration. So where the name and passport number and everything is mentioned. So each one of us get one copy each. So that we so that we keep along with us. So that just in case, you know, we get stuck anywhere. We have to ask something so we can show it to them. So yeah. So for us females, of course, we have to wear a baya at all given point of time. But for the guys, you also make sure that you are dressed properly, dressed appropriately. Don't think that all rules and regulations are for girls. You are also. So make sure you maintain the decorum. And for all my non-vegetarian friends out there, 
यू कैन नॉट कंज्यूम ओक लाइक ओक तो वहाँ मिलता ही नहीं है बिकॉज अगेन इट्स एन इस्लामिक स्टेट सो इन इस्लाम पोक इज हराम सो दे डोंट ईट पोक एंड यू इफ यू आर कैरिंग योर ओन फूड मेक श्योर यू डोंट कैरी पोक अदरवाइज अगर आप अपना खाना लेके जा रहे हैं तो उसमें पोक मत लेके जाएगा आई वुड आई वुड सजेस्ट इफ यू आर कैरिंग योर ओन फूड गेट वेजिटेरियन फूड कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ जाएगा अगर एक दिन वेज खाना पड़े यू नो इट्स गुड फॉर योर हेल्थ थोड़ी बॉडी डिटॉक्स भी हो जाएगी सो यू नो यू शुड ट्राई दैट टॉकिंग अबाउट द वेदर ऑफकोर्स एक्सट्रीमली हॉट आउट देर सो मेक श्योर यू कीप अ बॉटल ऑफ वाटर अलॉन्ग विद यू कीप योर सेल्फ हाइड्रेटेड अदरवाइज यूल सफर फ्राम हिट स्ट्रोक या इन विंटर्स द टेम्परेचर कैन गो बिलो एट डिग्री सेल्सियस सो मेक श्योर यू कैरी वार्म क्लोथ अलॉन्ग विद यू वेन यू आर ट्रेवलिंग टू द मैम इन विंटर्स so yeah that was pretty much it from my side i hope you like this video and find it helpful if you do make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel press the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified whenever i'll be uploading my next video and if you got any more suggestion please mention it in the comment section below and yeah that's pretty much it i hope to see you until next time take care